Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast. I'm your host, Derek Whita, joining me today, as always. It's Owen. It's Owen. Say hi, Owen. How's it going? Everybody say hi to Owen. We love Owen. We need Owen. We need <laughs> Owen to get these podcasts. I would be fucking... Uh. I don't even know how to. I don't. I don't even know how to work my phone. And the Derek the, knows how to work Instagram and Facebook, kinda. I but I, dude, I figured out Wayfair. You did. Yeah, I feel the house is feeling I'm full. I'm addicted, man. I'm addicted to buying furniture on Wayfair because I, I think it's. I, I I I said this on Instagram yesterday. Like it, it's. I'm so stupid. I'm so I'm pathetic. It's 2020. It is. And and I'm blown away by this website because um, <laughs> I bought something on it. And then I went to get something else, or I got a desk. Okay, right. like I got a desk, and it and it showed up. It's a nice desk. And then I needed a new chair, and so I went a couple of days later to order a new chair. And it just knew my shit. Right. Apparently, I had made an account or something. Uh-huh. Like it knew my address, my <laughs> card info. So literally, all I had to do was click buy, send it to and, my house, and they it was I'll like, hey, that. hey, that shit's on the way, and it shows up in like two days. And I'm like, God. This is fucking amazing. That's awesome. And um, I like this is stupid. And you said this to me because you're like, Derek, that's what Amazon is. Yep. But I don't. I'm. I'm. I. I, I Baby Amazon, steps. Amazon is Baby too steps. big for me. It's Baby too. Steps. Yeah, I can't do Amazon, but I can do Wayfair. Dip your toe in the water. Experience what shopping on the internet's yeah, like. I got a. I got a. I got a. I got a little bench for my room being delivered tomorrow. And I ordered us a new <laughs> table for the podcast. I'm going to order us some new chairs and stuff. Nice. So. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're redoing the, you know, the where we record the, um these podcasts is in what used to be like my art and music room. Yep. But um now we're just turning it into the podcast room. Man. Step so, up from the old days of the garage. Yeah, I gutted this. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gutted this motherfucker. We got to change the wall decor. I'm thinking, like, dude, I don't like. I want to get some American patriotic slash military yeah. stuff on the walls, but not like too hua. Right, something subtle, something subtle. No you know, skulls with bayonets like in their teeth or anything. I mean, like that, that would be that that that's that's what I would like. When I mean <laughs> subtle, I mean like not a fucking poster of dog tags or something right. like that. You know, like a a bull. Yeah, uh, maybe I should get an Air Force wife poster. That'd I, be awesome. Yeah, that was kind of a running joke when Stacy was in the Air Force. And, You're a dependa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But anyways, I actually want to start out the show. I'm already prepared with the Savage Slapper. Usually you have to fucking remind me. That's it. But I was like, I got a Savage Slapper. Um, if this is the first time you're checking out this podcast, we do the Savage Slapper. It's music. I share music. Music that I like listening to when I work out. And I got a fucking slapper for you today. It's the Ghost Insides new song it's called aftermath i'm pretty sure i should double check that you should but i but i but i'm pretty sure it's called aftermath let me see let's see the ghost inside i'm pulling up my spotify yeah it's aftermath nice i got that shit right so the go uh, aftermath by the ghost inside now i want to tell you a story if you guys don't know about the ghost inside like they they were a, they were a, a pretty popular band for quite a while they were they 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 i think in terms of music, like they made it or they, they were on their way to making it. They were super right. popular. Right. And, um, it was, it was years ago. Um, and I never really listened to them and I had sampled them sometimes and I just, I didn't like it, you know, but, um, it's kind of like it, you gotta it, be in the right mood. Yeah. Sometimes. You know, I, it's like, you know, Stacy doesn't like the office because she's she really? started the office at season five, episode 17. Oh no, there's history. And you got to go point. back to the start. Yeah. Like you got to know, some shit. So the ghost inside is like, I don't know what genre of metal it would be classified as, but the lyrics are so fucking good. They're like motivational, positive lyrics. Like they're very motivational songs. It's really, it's interesting. It's the perfect, um, their, their latest two albums and like their latest two albums came out in like 2014, 2015, 16 or something like that. So it's been years since they put out new music and there's a reason. Um, um, in 2016, they were on tour and they they had a their their bus crashed. They had like a head on collision with a truck or something like that. Jeez. Now I don't know all the fucking specific details of the story, but I I'm pretty sure. So I don't mean any disrespect. Like this was a tough event for these guys. You know, it was right. it was very tragic. Um, I their bus crashed. And it was 2016. I, it, I think it was like in or around El Paso. Okay, they had a head on collision and uh, 
I'm pretty sure one person died in a bus, man. In a like, bus, you're like, and you're the not seatbelted in or right, nothing. The band, and the but the band got fucked up. Like Vigil, the lead singer, he was in the hospital and he was in braces and all that stuff. And and like, um, a, shit, I almost a cool story. A cool story of triumph. The drummer. Um, I've actually become friends with him over the years. His name's Andrew. He fucking lost his leg. And he's he's got the same disability as me. He's yep. right leg above the knee. We have like, you know, pretty long stumps. We have the same legs and stuff. <laughs> this motherfucker. Hey, bro, yeah, how's long, yeah. how long is your stump? So this dude was a drummer. So like, just like, it's just like me. Like, I lost my passion job. Mm-hmm. Right. He lost his passion job. It's the same thing, yep. but different, you know? Um, and, and, uh, it just fucked them up for a long time. And they were, you know, like not only did these guys get hurt individually, but they saw their friends get hurt. They saw w- one of their friends die. Yep. Um, I think it was only one. Was uh, it somebody in the band? I, I, I think it was the driver again. Okay. Like, I don't mean like not having the facts. I don't mean right. to disrespect, but like, you know, the, the story's out there if you want to look into it. But anyways, um, they fucking came back. So Andrew, the drummer, he fucking, him and his dad, because you know how they do like the double bass? And yeah. You need both fucking feet. Yep. You know, and uh, him and his dad made this like pedal where he just stumps the pedal. And they went through several versions because they couldn't get the timing right. perfect, you okay. know? And they, they fucking themselves, they made a fucking cripple stump pedal, <laughs> drum bass pedal. Adaptive bass. Yeah. And so he just stumps that motherfucker and it sounds great. So it's so, like up high off the ground. Yeah, so he, so he doesn't wear, it. he doesn't wear his leg. He just stumps it. Wow. And they fucking tweaked it. And so that the timing is right. Yep. Which is fucking amazing, dude. Like I, I, I couldn't do that kind right? of shit, you know, I can't um, do this, but I need to do this. Yeah. So let's make something to help but me do like, this. What a cool story of triumph. Right. You know, so sure. he's back. So actually it was last July. They had their first concert in three years and it was in Los Angeles. And I had, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the life I have. I was fortunate enough to be, like befriend these guys yep. at, over the years after their accident and things like that. And, um, uh, they hooked me up with like fucking backstage passes at their fucking reunion tour nice. or like the re it was just one show. Yeah. It wasn't a tour. It was just one show. Right. And dude, it was fucking awesome. And the emotion in uh, like from the band members while they were on stage, like they, it looked like they just wanted to cry always. Oh yeah. Cause they're just like, we fucking made it back. They're you know? putting everything and, into one show. Yeah, they were, And it, it like what they went through was a traumatic event. And, you know, I think um, coming from the military, we're a little bit better set up mentally to experience tragedy like that. I think we see it more. Y- yeah. And or, or like the, you know, like the conditioning that goes, yeah, that goes down in the military. Yeah. You you're know? a little callous <laughs> yeah. to it, to your, mm-hmm. you're like prepared. We, when we sign up, we're, we we're we're volunteering for that life right you know but in a band you're not really volunteering no. to go get your fucking shit fucked up no, you know not trying to get in a crash or shot <laughs> mm-hmm. at or anything so it was awesome and at this actually at the show like backstage was like every metal fucking artist that i love i was i was i was a i was fanboying like a motherfucker <laughs> you know so like when people some, hi i'm derek sometimes somebody who gives a shit about me in public will like come up to me and be like i don't mean to fanboy out i'm like dude fanboy if that's your thing because like i've been fucking stupid in front of really cool people before <laughs> i bought i went I, I i saw ronnie radke and i was like fuck yeah i'm gonna go say hi to ronnie and his hands were empty yep. i was like hey man you need a beer he was like, he was like, dude, I'll take a fucking beer. And then he looked down and saw my leg. He's like, oh, you don't have to go get it. I was like, no, it's cool, bro. So I fucking turned around and he saw the cripple walking away and I came back and I was like, here you go. I handed him like two tall boys and I just <laughs> walked away. So like Ronnie Radke probably thinks I'm fucking cool. You know, <laughs> he just shows up and gives you beer. Yeah. But I, I kind of like acted like a fool in front of Tim Lambesis a little bit. He's the lead singer of As I Lay Dying. And I just, I fucking love that dude. Yeah. And so I was just like. Hey, Tim. Hi. <laughs> How are you? So, <laughs> you're in Los Angeles, huh? <laughs> so am I. Me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's the that's the Savage Slapper of the Week, Aftermath by The Ghost Inside. I can't say whether they have a full-length album coming out or not. Do you post like swipe ups for your Spotify? Can you do that? Yeah. So I, I actually did, you know, oh, okay, like cool. I, I do that. I try to do that with music quite often, you nice. know, and, and uh, yeah. And, you know, people are like, 
you know, what if I don't use Spotify? I'm like, well, go fuck yourself. I can like, I'm, I'm doing what I can here, motherfucker. Right. And also, if you don't do Spotify is amazing. Spotify is fucking amazing. They have everything. I don't do Apple Music. I do Spotify. I do Spotify. Yeah. I do Apple. So, really? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I mostly do Pandora. Dude, fuck Pandora. I, I, I need more control do you? than Pandora offers. <laughs> yeah, I could yeah. be, I could be swayed mm-hmm. to, to do mm-hmm. Spotify. Spotify is the shit. So that's the slapper. That's the story. The ghost inside. A cool story of fucking tragedy and triumph. Yep. Um, which I do like. They're fucking like. I can't. If 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 they do come out with an album, like after all that, if their shit was motivational before that right just think of what the lyrics are going to be like oh it was motivational before that yeah accident. Mm-hmm. yeah and then and then so like you know but they were like then you know it's kind of like one of those things where like you're talking a lot of shit and then you're actually faced with adversity what are you going to do right well they fucking rise up to the challenge and now they're back and i can't wait to to see what they write about and and that's a funny thing about metal is like you know like at crossfit apollo i'll put metal on you know right and they're like can't listen to that because it's just raw, 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 you know right but if you actually listen to a lot of the lyrics of of of, of a lot of these metal bands that i like uh-huh. there's substance to those lyrics like yeah. people shit on metal because it's they think it's just screaming but then they listen to fucking mumble rap you know <laughs> i can't know so metal has fucking substance dude like that was good yeah oh god i hate it anyways, might be a mumble rapper anyways yeah um <laughs> that's your slapper aftermath by the ghost inside check it out all right getting into the show today i want to start by talking about i weighed myself the other day i haven't weighed myself since you know the gym's closed the last time i weighed myself was maybe this time last month what were you at when we when we were when you were training at brennan's 190 190. i got up to 190 okay and so for me so so um keep in mind when i say i weighed 190 i'm missing a leg yeah so i'm five six and i think my leg would have been about 30 35 pounds okay you know i've done them i've you know that i looked on google and it's like 17 percent of your body weight how much does a human leg weigh so i guesstimate it's between like 25 and 35 pounds okay so that'd be me at like five six 215 that's thick that's thick thick boy yep yeah and then in and i and i didn't want to gain you know a year and a half ago i gained 45 pounds i didn't want to gain that much but you have to gain some weight it only makes sense i didn't want to gain any weight but the numbers that we were lifting i was like fuck they're big i gotta eat yeah i gotta eat you gotta eat to be strong i didn't want my body to grow but you have to get those calories or you're going to miss, you're right. going to miss numbers, you know? Um, so I ended up gaining 20 pounds, but I wasn't, I didn't look too fat this time. Yeah. No, you no. looked fatter when I met you. When, sure. When yeah. You were doing the first I one. definitely like but you were big a month ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were big, but I wasn't, you know, like, and that was fun. I was strong, but like my low back hurt when I tried to do some conditioning and my lungs yep. were just fucking gone. I wasn't yeah. fit. I was strong, you know? Um, but, uh, the, the meet was supposed to be on April 4th or 5th or something like that. Yeah. And then I was going to be done with powerlifting anyways, right. you know. Start um, focusing on CrossFit. It got cut short because of of uh, COVID-19. Yep. Gyms closing down and things like that. So anyways, I, I weighed like 190 and I stepped on a scale the other day and I was 173. And I'm trying to get back down to 168, which is, you know, an oddly specific number. But that's, that's very that was my body weight when I got uh, fitted for the sockets. Okay. You know, I have the small, I'm in this bigger. 168 and a half. Yeah, yeah. 168.223 repetent. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do you, do you say repetent or repeating? I would say repeating. I don't yeah. think I've ever heard repetent. Repetent. I don't, I th- yeah. Did, I, for some reason. Is it I a real word? word? I believe so. Or did so. you make that shit up? I believe, I believe repetent is, repetent is an acceptable word in this situation. Is it an adjective? No, it just means, you know, in math, when you put the line above the number, so it means repeating, but I think you can also say repetent. I don't know. It is a repetent. So I don't know. Anyways, we're, 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 we're we might as well be talking astrophysics right here right Shit. now, you know? Uh, so anyways, I, uh, <laughs> I stepped on the scale. What do you weigh? And like my, go- uh, 173. 173. 173. Okay. Like my goal has been to get, cause I'm, you know, I got CrossFit dreams later this year. Right. And I want to be smaller. You know, the last time I competed in CrossFit was 2017, and I weighed about 176 then. Okay. But, like, looking back and uh, on my performance, I was like, I was a little bit too big. Because, I'm like, again, Which I'm Which effect only, did you have? Did it make you slower? Uh, uh, yeah. Not, you, my gymnastics weren't as good. Okay. Um, I think my shoulders were a little bit too big, 
And About like stamina. Does it affect stamina? Yeah. So it's like, you know, um, yeah, I was, I was, I was stronger than I needed to be, you know? So if I'm competing right. against guys with disabilities like me, so like my big thing is rush club. It's a one-on-one competition. I compete against other people who have the same disability as me. So it's a level playing field. Yep. I don't need to be very strong to be the strongest CrossFit above knee amputee. Like right. Derek Carver is a really, str- he, you know, he's, he's on the, he's on uh, the recovery now cause he had that surgery. But before, you know, he was a, he was way too strong for CrossFit, but he loves being strong. You know, right. like he still had a good engine. He was a, he's a big boy. Yeah. And he's a, how big is he? Well, he's, I think he's like 220, 230, 240. Okay. Missing a leg, you know? Yeah. Like his strict press was like 275. He benches 405. Jesus. Um, but he has a really high um, amputation. So short. So stout. his lower uh, body lifts. Yeah. Or, you know, he's, he's way more at a disadvantage than I am there. So it's like dead. It's harder for him to deadlift. Right. Cause of lever, for, yeah. basically leverage, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but any, like, he's definitely too big for, to be good at CrossFit. He can still do CrossFit, get a good workout and stuff, but to yeah. be like, com- yeah, but I just, the way I know the way I felt, um, mm-hmm. it was still a little bit too big. So like 176 for me would be like 200 pounds. That's big. If you're it's like big. in an endurance sport, you know? Yeah. And I was like, my strict press was 225, but really my strict press only needs to be 185. So it's like, what do I need? Right. And like looking at the competitions I have coming up this fall, I need to be, I need to be fast. Yep. Very, I need to be lightweight. Cause it's like my big, my big competition has like toe to bar and muscle ups. Uh-huh. And if I can fucking breeze through those, you know, I, I want right. to be small for that. The heaviest weight I have to lift for that of uh, competition is 135 pounds. Oh, I'll, I'll, it's like, like your warm up. I'll always be able to manage that. Yeah. So it's all about being small and fast. And right. I feel better, dude. Because like, so still like 168 for me would be like 190, 195 if I had two legs yep. at five. So that's a good fucking, that's a good solid physique. Like yeah. it's, I feel skinny, like skinny boy, but right. it's not, you know. But you were working at not being skinny yeah. boy for a while. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's funny. So like I looked on the scale 173, I was like, Oh shit, I've lost fucking 17 pounds yeah. this month, in you a know, month? and in a health, I didn't crash diet. Right. I didn't give up anything. I didn't still count, eating carbs. I didn't count food. I just, yep. you know, and, 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 um, I posted it on Instagram in my stories yesterday. I was like, Oh shit. I'm down 15 pounds, you know, in a month. I was right. like, that's pretty, that's, pre- that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Did it, did your, and then did it blow up with, how'd you do it? Yeah. And then yeah. that's the, then that's the thing. Like that's, I got all the mess, like the messages came in. They're like, how did you do this? And you know, it's at the point now where people are asking, how come you can change your body with seemingly at will and I can't lose 10 pounds. Right. Like I remember I saw a message and a guy was like, for the life of me, I can't get under 200 pounds. You know, I'm doing everything I can and blah, dee, da, dee, da. People are like you? how, right. Well, are like, you? yeah, like before we get into that, <laughs> uh, you know, they're like, you know, it's, it's kind of, if, if you've watched me for the last two years, yeah. you've seen me oh, yeah. fluctuate up and on down, purpose. Up, right? Everything has been intentional, intentional, you know? So everything's been intentional and people are like, what the fuck? How come you can do this seemingly at will? And I have such a hard time accomplishing accomplishing even one of the most basic goals, yeah. you know? And uh, it's the D. I've had, uh, yeah, I've, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had a hard time articulating. It's like, well, what do I do? Like, right. what, what do I do that's so special? And then, uh, like, over time and answering people, I figured it out. I was like, oh, I just. All, you know, I, I answered it one time, a girl, a girl at the gym asked me, she's like, what, what are you doing to, to lose the weight? And I was, and I said to her, I said, you know, all those things, you know, you should do. She was like, yeah. I was like, I do them. I do all like, of them. I do them. And, and I'm going to go back to like, you know, I've been, I've been fucking bringing up his name all the time, but I'm still listening, listening to Jocko, yep. Jocko podcast, yep. reading his book. Actually, I just finished that Dan, Dan Crenshaw's book, Fortitude. Yeah. A fucking must must read. It was, it's, it was amazing. I love that shit. Um, if you haven't checked that out, I listened to it on audible. My first audible experience. Stacy signed me up for audible. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. that's kind of Amazon, oh, right? Yeah. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. So Stacy signed me up for it. Yeah. Getting in the deep end, yeah, buddy. I know. Yeah. I got a, got a, <laughs> got a toe in the water. Welcome yeah. to the internet. But Jocko articulates it perfectly. I think yeah. for like my answer, his one of his big taglines is discipline equals freedom. And that that makes sense 
to me and in this situation, cause it's like when people are like, what do you do? I was like, Oh, well, like I hit my workouts with purpose and intensity, right? I eat to perform. I right. don't snack. I drink water and I sleep. Like I literally just do the basics. There is nothing special about what I do. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to break down how I'm doing my training sessions, exactly what I eat and why and my sleep. So like I, but, but that's it. Like yeah. my, my supplements don't change. Right. My food only changes a little. The biggest thing is like when I, when I want to lose weight, I just, I, my output is more, you know, for like powerlifting is so much resting. Yeah. It's so easy to gain weight because you're fucking dormant, you right. know? <laughs> right. Like, so, um, um, you know, over the last, so I've lost 15 pounds in the last month and I'll tell you, um, my training splits, I'll just run you through my fucking life. Okay. okay. And, and my training splits is like one week I work out once a day right now, but it's like two and a half hours to three hours. Yeah. They're long workouts. Uh, they're fucking long and grueling, you yep. know? And then, um, and then like this week I do two workouts, um, a day and, and, and right now I'm not in a training cycle, mm -hmm. you know? So like my, my next training cycle really probably won't pick up until, like September 1st, maybe or so competitions win November 21st. November, okay. Yeah. So, but I'm, I'm still like every day now, it like every day now counts yep. towards that. Oh, like, for sure. you know, the better I am come September 1st, but right now it's just about like enjoying fitness, yep. being healthy, staying healthy, like non-injury, Yeah. you know, things like that. So it, it's, it's pretty nice. Like I push myself but not too much. Right. You know, so it's, it's not hard to fucking exercise to yep. lose weight, but I, I hit my training and I follow, I, I have a program. I have a coach, you know, like that's fucking important. Yep. It's fucking important to have a plan, you know, and, and I follow the plan. Right. And a lot of times there's things I don't want to do. Oh, often there's but it's, times, but you it's don't. written. There's things. Yeah. yeah but like, it's written it. and it's like, well, okay. I, I had like, it's written that I need to do, 20 burpees yeah. or, or maybe my warm up is seven minutes of burpees. Right. Like that's written. And so it, it, it it's a choice to me then it's like, Hey, are you going to follow through with this and have discipline and stay right. dedicated to your, you know, your goals? Or are you going to be a fucking bitch? Are you going to quit? Right. And, Cause your shoulder hurts or whatever. Right. Yeah. And I would say like 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I do it, yep. but sometimes like I'm hurt or tired or stressed and it's, and, and the goal of the workout is to just be happy, right? Not miserable or something like that. But like having a plan, it push it forces you to, um, check yourself, be like, am I a bitch or do I want to be a winner? Right. You know? So I guess I will fucking like, we got training programs on derekwhited.com and so they're, they're challenging and they're, they're fucking reasonably priced oh, yeah. 20 bucks. It's fuck, you know? And, and, uh, uh, the, 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 the programs, we sell them in 12 week chunks. Yeah. They're all 12 weeks. And in. the value of that would probably be like 1200 bucks or so, like right. for real, because of the, the knowledge and experience that we have. Um, uh, yeah. Tw it's three four, months, 400 bucks a month for a good coach is reasonable. Yeah. You're getting it for 20 bucks. Right. Okay. So, On your phone. Yeah. Derek Um, there's, there's several training programs, but, um, having, having a program, even I'm not in training, but I have to have a program. Right. Because if I wake up today and I don't have a plan, it's like, Oh, I could just fuck off. You have to human proof your life. Yeah. How many times have we said that all the time? You know, like you have to human proof your life because it's so easy to, um, I was going to do shoulder stuff, but now I'm not going to do shoulder yeah, stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I'll, I'll just do abs. Mm -hmm. That's not just a plan. Do bicep curls Monday to right. Friday, you know? So, so yeah, like, so, um, you know, I, I hit my workouts when I'm trying to accomplish the goal. Like right now losing weight, it's easy for me. I hit my workouts. I have a plan. Yep. I have a program. I, so the programs we offer you are 20 bucks. I pay top dollar for a coach. Okay. Right. Like I pay four to 500 bucks a month for my coach, which is reasonable. Yep. And I have for the last five years. Yep. It's expensive. You know what? You know how people react if I tried to charge them $400 a month for my training coaching, which would be reasonable. People would be like, what the fuck? Welcome to the real world, motherfuckers. <laughs> Welcome to the real fucking world. That's how much a good coach costs. Right. And we're giving you that level of, 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 of expertise right. and experience and knowledge for 20 bucks. Okay. <laughs> so no shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're good. No, they're good. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, like I, um, I, I'm not in training, but I, I need a program. Right. And, and you I stick follow with the that. program every fucking, like maybe I'll miss someday here. We get busy or something like that, yep. but 90, I'm good 90% of the time. And that's good enough. Right. When you're, you know, come September 1st, it's a hundred percent. Yep. Okay. And like, it's, it's very focused and that, that's when we get stressed out again and things like that. And we go to like, I want to quit, you know, <laughs> but right now it's just about having fun. 90% is good enough, you right. know? And then, um, when it, you know, so for, and then for food, like I'm still working out good mm-hmm. and, uh, uh, I'll just, I'll, t- I'll tell you what I eat basically every day. I'll just, I'll just break down my, like, so I work out, let's say, let's say today. All right. I worked out this morning. I had my post-workout shake first okay. form formula one CTC half scoop ignition and a scoop of glutamine. Okay. All right. And then right before we started this show. So I had my post-workout shake at about nine 30 in the morning at 11. I had a smoothie. And so the post-workout shakes breakfast, like basically, that's yeah. basically mm-hmm. breakfast. Yeah. So it's like, I don't, it's cause I have to train again. Right. So like, so today, um, instead of eating, Earlier, I had I had a smoothie at eleven in the morning, and that smoothie was, dude. I like this cashew milk. I'm big on this cashew milk. I had to, I've never been like a nut milk guy, yeah. But you know, four weeks ago, all the milk was gone, right? And all there was was cashew milk, and so I got it. And I was like, yeah. this is really fucking good, and it's thinner. Turns and out so, I like it. Yeah, so I don't have to put like two cups of milk in my smoothies or something. Yeah. So so I do this. Uh, it's a cup of cashew milk, um, like half a or like a good serving of, of frozen strawberries. Okay, a banana. And two scoops of Formula One CTC. CTC yep. means Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Right. Dude, that was, uh, you know, typically I'd done chocolate protein. Yeah. But uh, I was out of chocolate one day. So I was like, well, this will be weird, but I'll try CTC in here. It is the fucking truth. It tastes like uh, French toast. Yeah, it does. In a smoothie. That's it's the last one amazing. I just had was CTC. Yeah, yeah. And I so, was looking at the other flavors. They've got like fruit ones and I'm kind of like... Yeah, the loop de fruit. Yeah, it's... it's I kind of want to try them. It's but, on point, man. Yeah. But I, I like... It's a little too sweet for me on, yeah. a, on the daily. But I'll tell you what. Summer's back. So it's juicy watermelon time. Mm-hmm. Juicy for watermelon. protein? Yeah, is my summer flavor. Nice. Me and Stacy were talking about it the other day. After we work out, we walk around the block and drink our post-workout shake. Yeah. I was like, I think it's juicy watermelon time. She it's was like, time. it's it's time to get juicy. Does it taste like the uh, the EAAs? Dude, no, it's better. It's I'll, better. I'll get it. And okay. you know, it, it's, it's the perfect summer fucking protein. Nice. Juicy watermelon. Love Firstform.com it. slash Derek. <laughs> That's one S-T-P-H-O-R-M dot com slash Derek. Yeah. Get some. Mm-hmm. So I have that smoothie. And actually, so today I put two tablespoons of peanut butter in there because typically I'd work out again at 1230. Right. But this podcast, I might not work out till 130 or two. Right. So that peanut butter, the fats in there will just keep me feeling fuller longer. Does the cashew you know? milk have more fats in it? No. It so doesn't. like the thing okay. about nut milk is it's basically a wash. People use it for like cutting calories and things like that. Okay. You know, um, it doesn't have... Um, so I, uh, I eat a lot fat. of nuts because because they have fats and fats are good for yeah. your brain and stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And they make you feel full. Yeah. yeah. My thing with, so like I don't, like I like cashews and almonds and things like that, yeah. but I only eat those when I'm trying to gain weight because oh, how okay. the fuck do you only eat one serving? Right. So here, here comes my <laughs> trick with fucking nutrition. Um, you know, I, I've said it before, like I'm not a snacker. Right. One of my big keys to success is I'm not a snacker. Right. And so um, we'll actually... You know, so I, I, um, I eat big meals. Um, I fucking, I have a skillet every day and big is no joke. Big. We're talking like 2000. I had a calories. half serving one time of the skillet when we made, when we did the skillet cooking show and you're like, Hey, you want half of this? And I ate, I couldn't finish that. Yeah. And you're like, dude, that's like half, that's a half serving for some, me. That's some bitch shit, but it's, it's easy no for me joke. to eat big meals. Cause like, so I, I have my first meal meal at like three or four every yep. day and I've, and I've trained typically twice by then, but like on the days where I only work out once, if I'm done working out by 10, I'll eat my first meal at like noon, Right. you know? So I eat earlier, but I don't like the reason my food timing is the way it is is because I train for a living yep and uh i don't like training with food in my stomach right who the fuck wants to do 100 burpees with you know <laughs> cashews in yeah. Their stomach. Mm-hmm. yeah so i have a skillet and that's like a whole bag of hash browns like 12 to 16 ounces of steak yep three eggs a fucking buttload of cheese so i good. fucking love cheese yep. and then hot sauce <clears throat> and then um you know at night i'll have like a pound of 
typically lately I've been having about a pound of hamburger with two more eggs, cheese, hot sauce, <laughs> and then two skiers. Yeah. So actually like, th- dude, like, so it's yogurt. Skier is yogurt, but yep. it's skier is Icelandic yogurt, but they can't call it yogurt in America. Is it because they use like a different bacteria? To yeah. Make so it? in America, okay. in the United States, you have to have one of two like live bacteria yep. to be considered yogurt. They have something different. Right. So it's called skier. And actually they just, the, I use this brand Icelandic mm-hmm. and uh, they just came out with these new ones that use whole milk. Dude, they are so rich and creamy and thick. It's fucking amazing. Does it taste anything like Greek yogurt? No, it's better, man. It's, better? it's way better. Yeah, okay. it's like it's skier. There's only a couple brands out there. And, and if you can find Icelandic, they're in Smith's here. So that's like Kroger type shit, you yep. know? So I, Icelandic skier. It's fucking good. And then I eat a whole bag of granola. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bare naked granola, the the cocoa and cashew one. Yeah. So it's got granola and then pumpkin seeds and cashews. And then it's got like bits of chocolate in there. So I it's d- not like, there's a lot of sugar, you know? Yeah. But um, how many calories total do you think you pull? I know you don't count shit like that anymore, but like if you had to guess on a number, what do you think your caloric intake is? You know, I counted, you know, I, 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 I always eat the same. Basically right. it, 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 it varies rarely. Right. And I was eating about this diet. A couple years ago, and I did count it one day, and it was like thirty five hundred calories. Okay, so that's fair, and yeah. I was like, so that's me on a diet. That's yeah. me going towards abs and things like that. Right. You know, um, and trying to cut. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah, so it's you know it's like I don't you know so that's just what I do, and what it works. Were, God for me. dang, what were you but eating when you were when you were powerlifting? Forty five hundred calories or so. Yikes! Yeah, it hurt. That's painful. It hurt to yeah. choke that much food down. Mm-hmm. The day. Yeah. So so you know like my my workouts just to just to you know retrace here my keys to success my workouts I have a program right and I follow it and it, you know and so it makes and that's it, what it is it's it, gospel yeah yeah and then, like for real <laughs> and, and I do it and then I know what I need to eat and like I've said it before like I tra- I eat for performance and it's like on on today my post workout shake and smoothie are to help me today. Right. It's the smoothiest to help me survive that second training session. You know, what I start eating at about three o'clock from three to 10, I'll eat two meals and that's for tomorrow. Right. Like that's my energy for tomorrow. And so I think that makes it easy for me to do well in my diet because if I do poorly, I know I'm setting myself up to fucking feel less good than I want to tomorrow. Right. Like I'm committing to fucking up tomorrow today. Right. Because why? Right. You know, so it makes it easy for, it's an easy decision. It's like, yep. I don't want to fuck up tomorrow. Nope. I, you know, like why would I want to set myself up for failure? Right. I want to set myself up for success. So I, it makes it easy for me to not cheat on my diet, you know, and those little snacks, those little snacks, man. They, mm-hmm. That's what. That's where people fucking go wrong. Those little snacks. Those little snacks here and there. Oh, it's just one Reese's. But yeah, but then it's like a handful of potato chips later, and then a couple bites of ice cream later, and an Oreo later, and Some all funions. these fucking things. Yeah. yeah. All funions. these, you know, it fucking adds up, you Fuck know? Yeah, it does. And, uh, and fuck that. So I, I don't do that. I drink about 150 ounces of water a day. I th- Or like, I drink about 150 ounces of actual water a day. I drink more in my supplements, you know, so right. maybe like 150 to 200 ounces of water a day, but I'm working out a lot. I'm sweating a lot. Right. You know? And it's getting hot. Oh yeah. She's getting toasty and I sleep six, eight hours a night. You know, that's yeah. it. That's all I do. The fucking basics, <laughs> man. And I don't, it, it, it like, there's no, it's, it's brain, it's mindless for me. It's second nature, you know, but I take it all very fucking seriously. You know, if, 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 if Stacy's like, Hey, we have to do this. I'm like, Oh no, I, or, you know, I was like, ah, shit, I got to fucking cook. Can I cook every meal to order or I cook every meal to eat? Right. You know, I'm not a leftovers guy too much. And, you know, and I talk about people not prioritizing or not valuing time spent while cooking, you know, but so like I live that when I, right. when I tell you to do something, like I live it, I cook my food and, you know, so if, if it's been a long day, if the boys have, you know, been, been particularly rough that evening going to bed and it's nine o'clock and I have to cook again and it takes me 20 minutes to cook, 
It's like, ugh, it's one of those gut check things, you know? I get my fucking little bitch ass up and I cook my food because I'm setting myself up for success tomorrow. So, like, you know, I just, I wanted to, to talk about that. It's that fucking easy. It's that easy. Like, it, on paper, it's, a it's that easy. simple equation. What, like, what do you do to lose? Like, I work out, I eat good, I drink water, and I sleep. And you have okay? discipline to stick with yeah. it. Yeah, and and that's the thing. Like, that's that's what I do, and I do it, and I don't... I don't slack on my training. I don't cheat on my diet. I drink my fucking water and I don't stay up all night playing video games or worrying about the future. Right. You know? Um, so, and that's where like Jocko says, discipline equals freedom. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. I can do whatever I want when I want because I have the discipline to follow through. You yeah. know, like that's his tagline and people, it's popular because people, haven't learned that yet. And somewhere along the way, and you know, this is, you know, I'd say like four or five years ago, I fucking finally made this shift after trying to beat this into my brain for 10 years. Yeah. You have to beat shit into your brain. You know, like I fought against my nature for so long. It's like, I want to be this way. My brain's like, well, we're going to be this way instead. I'm like, no brain. Come on, motherfucker. And it finally clicked, you know, get on board. You know, like, so everything's just habit for me now. You know? Yeah. So it takes time. But discipline, man, like that's it. It's it's discipline. And of all the things, you know, I can help people with their training. I can help them with nutrition, supplements, um, just, you know, mental things about um, like motivation type or there, I guess the mental thing is the hard part because that's what Mindset. discipline is. I can't help you with your fucking discipline. Yeah. I can't sit there and fucking watch over you. And, you know, so like, even like with my mom, we had her on last week and she's doing really good. Yeah. And I watch her training and I kind of ask her about her food and things like that, but I can't invest myself too much in her success or failure. Right. Because I can't just, I can't watch her. Well, okay. cause that's the I'm part that happens. That's the part that happens when no one's, no one's around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, and people lie about that shit. Yeah. Like, and people on the internet, they're like, I don't know. Why I'm gaining weight? It's like because you're fucking eating shit, Cause okay? Because you drink a coke in the car. Yeah, on the way I over know. Here. Like it's not it's not rocket science. You you're fat because you're consuming too much, right? You're like, well, you know, my metabolism shut off because I fucking starved myself. I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you're I think you're eating, and that's okay. Just admit it, admit it, address the problem, get some fucking discipline. So it's just like if you need a training program, DerekWhite.com. Um, if diet takes some time, actually, um, I'm working on the write up. Yeah. And I was going to talk about food specifically today and I want to wait for that to be finished. Okay. So soon we're going to help you a lot with food. Okay. But in the meantime, it's pretty easy. Eat real food. Yep. I don't care. You know, like you don't have to eat chicken. I don't eat any chicken. No, you don't. I don't eat any fucking vegetables. The only, I get fruit now in that smoothie. You know, so that's a change, but I'm a meat and I'm a red meat and potatoes guy. Yep. I'm a red meat, egg, eggs, cheese and potato guy. I love that shit. You're like a quality meat too. Cause yeah. Cause you don't eat like burgers or, or I mean you eat like a white I eat my burger. burgers, you eat yeah. your burger, mm-hmm. but you don't eat burgers that come to the house magically. Right. No, like you don't mm-hmm. eat those. No, ones. I eat real burgers. And once you have real burgers, ah. so, so I, I'll, I'll say this, like I eat a ton of steak and, um, you know, uh, I can afford it now. Right. You know, I, 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 we're not rich, but I can afford good food. Right. And Stacy sometimes, um, especially in the early years, she would um, kind of, she was uncomfortable with the price I would pay for a steak. And I, and I just told her, I was like, Stacy, this is why I make money. Right. Like for me, this is, this is my thing. Like this is why I make money. But for my whole twenties, it was the cheapest shit I could find, you know, it was frozen frozen meals. I, w- I was actually, we were at Costco the other day and I saw like a fucking box of 20 hamburgers. Yeah. Like bun and all that you just microwave. Oh, no and shit. I was like, man, I, re- <laughs> I remember being there when I was like, you know, 24 years old. Yeah. My ma had a Costco membership and I was broke as shit. And like, every, like a Sunday a month or something, she would take me to Costco and she'd buy me like a hundred bucks worth of groceries. Yeah. And like I needed that to survive. And Thanks, I was Mom. still, I was still working out. And like, even on that kind of a diet, I was fucking super lean in very good shape. I wasn't very strong back then, but I, what is like when I had my human leg, I was way more limited to what I could do. 
and it was weird looking and everything like yeah. that. So, but, um, but like, yeah, so I, I do eat quality food now, but I, for the majority of my life, I couldn't afford it. Right. You know, but you do your best like deli meat and things like that. If you can avoid, avoid nitrates, uh, nitrites and nitrates or whatever the fuck like yep. that, you know, you can, you can do shit on a budget. But certainly try to work hard till you can afford to eat good steak every day because yeah. that to me that's that's <laughs> it's a good life you know like <laughs> we've we've worked hard to get here right and uh, like I said like we're not traveling every day but I can I can eat steak every day and that's 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 a nice attainable goal for you you know yeah so yeah I do care about ingredients we always have steak in in the fridge. Like a yeah. barbecue, mm-hmm. a barbecue steaks, and then I, I like flank steaks because I'll put it in salad. I hate and stuff flank like. steaks; they're so tough, man. I like. Well, it. I'm a filet mignon guy. Yeah, I like, I like the tenderloin, which is that's the pricey shit, man. It's like woof da, you know. Yeah. So like, so like, like for three days, I'll have sirloin. Like I'm, I, I go for the sirloin, okay. and then I'll hit, I'll treat myself to a tenderloin, you right? Know, things like that. So yeah. That's uh, that's 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 it. That's what I do. That's that's what I stick do. with it. Stick with it. Dis- the Jocko says it, so I got to give him credit. I don't want, but like this, he says discipline equals freedom, mm-hmm. and that's the truth. That's my secret. And like I didn't, I didn't have to learn that from Jocko. It's it's just a good way to articulate what I've figured out over time. Like that's what works. Right. Discipline. It's not. It's literally like that basic. You know. It's like when you hear something and then you're like, God mm-hmm. damn, that's exactly yeah. what I do. Yeah. I guess you know it is important. Like I do. I do. I do consider supplements important. Right. You know. So and I I take like when I'm when I'm gaining weight or losing weight, no matter what sport I'm in, my supplements stay the same. Right. Because my supplements, all of them, but two, they don't fill holes in my nutrition. They support my training. Right. You know, and so I'm, I've been sponsored by First Form for five years. Strictly a First Form guy. For pre-workout, you know, uh, uh, intra-workout, post-workout, that's all I use. I take their Opti Greens and Opti Reds to fill a hole in my nutrition. Right, because you, you don't know, eat greens, vegetables. Po- right. Yeah. I, I, I lose out on the vegetables. But between the Opti Greens, the Opti Reds, and the Micro Factor Vitamin Pack, yep. I'm healthier. I'm getting more than somebody who does eat occasional vegetables because right. like dude you know people are like you don't eat any vegetables i'm like you eat one serving a day what's the fucking difference and it's broccoli you know? from like, a bag yeah you eat two servings a day shut the fuck up you're not getting all like don't judge me yep. you know and also shut the fuck up <laughs> you know just shut the fuck up you know <laughs> on principle mm-hmm. yeah so that's that's it that's what i do i thought it, i i forget that it's not so easy for everybody, you know? And I just, I threw like losing 15 pounds in a, in a month is a lot of people's fucking like unachievable, unattainable goal. Oh yeah. They want that, but they can't accomplish that. And they don't know why for sure. It's probably because you just don't have maybe, okay. If you need a plan, if you need a program, go to derekwhite.com. There's your workout program. Gyms are closed. That's fine. We got a fucking body weight, kettlebell, dumbbell program that you can do at home. Um, actually, Oh shit! Fuck, dude. Savage Saturdays. There's a twenty percent off code now. Oh, there and is. I, yeah, so I made a code. Yeah, right. So we made. Uh, I, we forgot about this, but just, <laughs> just, just as like a thank you for listening type thing. There's, there's a, there's a twenty percent off code on DerekWhite.com for yeah. training programs, and the code is. I'm gonna have to Saturdays. Look. I think it is Saturday. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, right. we'll look at I the made. code. But so if you need a, if you need a plan, if you need a program. DerekWhite.com. We'll tell you the the, the tell code you the code in just a second. Yeah, and then food is pretty simple. All right, drink your water. Check out firstform.com slash Derek for for good quality supplements. Do some fucking research there. If you have questions, shoot me a message on Instagram. Um, I'm pretty active there. Or join the Whiter group, our, our 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 Facebook group. There's a ton of information in there. Join the fucking Whiter group. Okay, I'm actually wearing my Whiter group T-shirt. And then sleep at night. It's that simple. Do you got the code? I think it's just Saturday. Saturday. Okay. I meant for it to be Saturdays, but Owen, Owen and words. Man, they're tough little, sometimes. Yeah. So the code is Saturday. It's Saturday. The code is, is it, is it all caps? Uh, I don't think it matters. It doesn't. Okay. Nope. So use the code Saturday on yep. DerekWhite.com to get 20% off training any programs. training program. So that drops the training program down to like $16, I think. Yeah, well, and like the postpartum one, that one's mm-hmm. more expensive because mm-hmm. it's a 
It's a uh, it's longer. Yeah, it's what twenty seven week twenty seven week postpartum program? program. And all we did was put online. That was Stacy's um, postpartum program. Yeah, and 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 um, she wanted to get her fitness back, but I wanted her to be safe. Right, and so it's a very slow oh, moving. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. that's 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 my speech there on 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 what allows me to be successful in this i i I, because it is true and it's not a brag or something like that like i can do anything i want at any time right you know because i have the discipline to do what i need to do and i have the patience to continue that until i've achieved my goal (laughs) right like you weighed yourself a month ago you're not weighing yourself every single day yeah, and no, then and scrutinizing I, yeah, like, oh, because fuck, I didn't. I know I'm not there yet. Right. So like, you know, it's, um, yeah. And uh, actually, I only weighed myself because my mom wanted me to see if her scale worked. Oh. Because <laughs> she was. Because it she might was, be broken. She was convinced it was broken. <laughs> It's not calibrated she's like, right. She's like, she's like, I don't think it'll go under I 200 think, pounds. I think it's And I got count. on there. I was like, nah, she goes well under 200, Ma. You got some wiggle room in there, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Nope, she's a good one. Yeah. Yep, nope, she works. <laughs> so that's my advice. That's my advice. That's good advice. That's my advice. Yeah. And uh, now, now follow that advice, and and you can effortlessly drop fifteen pounds in a month, like Derek. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. That's it's doable. It. It's doable. Hey, just want to take a minute and let you guys know that today's episode of Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast is sponsored by Postmates. Now, most of you understand that my diet is very rigid, repetitious. It's boring. My wife, Stacy, on the other hand, is my complete opposite. Stacy needs variety, always. And if you're anything like Stacy, you probably start thinking about what to eat for dinner while you're eating lunch. She loves food, and we have busy lives here. We have 15-month-old twins, and that's why we love using Postmates. We kind of love them even more right now because we can get food delivered without leaving our house or even opening the door. Given what's going on in the world, they created non-contact deliveries. So now, when we order from our favorite local restaurants, everything gets left right outside our door. They also have Postmates Pickup, which we've been using to order takeout from our favorite local restaurants. And check it out. We need to be supporting our neighborhood spots right now. We've only been ordering local because it's a great way to support our community. And Postmates doesn't just deliver burgers and sushi. They actually make our lives easier by picking up everything we need from places like Walgreens and 7-Eleven and dropping it off outside our door. Just download Postmates on iOS or Android, find your favorites, and get anything you want delivered within the hour. For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners, that's you, $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app and use the code SATURDAYS. That's code SATURDAYS for $100 of delivery credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Anything you need, anytime you need it, post made it. Speaking of advice, we now got, that I'm done with that. We have some questions. We got some questions. Some good ones this time. From the internet. Yeah, we went, we, um, so um, these are questions from people in the Whitey group. Yep. On Facebook. Again, There's always good ones in there. Yeah, these are, this is where I, you know, like I'll, I fuck off quite a lot on Instagram and Facebook, my public Facebook. Because it's you know? funny. It's fun, you know? Yep. But the Whitey group is strictly fitness. Yeah. And there's like, I, I, I'll i be honest, I'm not very active in there lately. Right. But the truth is like, the information's there. Yeah. It's fucking there. Like everything you could possibly want to learn from me is already there. If you spent a few hours just watching videos, reading posts and things like that, everything I know is already there. So it's kind of like, well, I already said everything. Right. And now maybe we can backtrack and organize it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And I think that's kind of what our goal is with the YouTube. Yeah. Is to make like an archive Archives easily searchable. Yep. Yeah. Now we can just make it more organized. But for now, it's there. It is there. So, so searchable. Yeah, searchable. Got to use that yeah. search mm-hmm. bar. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder what we would what would happen if we like searched butt plug in the Whitey group. I wonder what would come does, up. Does comments show up? Like I don't know. Like I don't know. I was like just, if, it's just a curiosity. That word's, that word's probably yeah. <laughs> used quite a bit yeah. for some reason. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, we took a few questions, and and I like doing questions because um, you know if if one person asks a question, there's a good chance. 
it's a relative question. A lot yeah. of people kind of yep. um, are confused about the same thing sometimes. So here's 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 the first one. I really like this, and and it's kind of like a, these are two related questions. I'll tackle one at a time. Okay. Um, this is from Charlotte Burton, and she asks. Talk about the aspects of fitness in a relationship, the benefits of both people going through a fitness journey together. Seriously, could you imagine if your significant other hates working out, et cetera, and that was your entire life? I thought this was interesting. That's a good question. I, I thought that was interesting. So um, that's actually one of um, uh, the when Stacy and I met, we met at the gym. Right. And that was huge for me. So prior to... Prior to Stacy, you know, I'd been married before and I had been in relationships. Yep. And I'd never been with a woman who gave a fuck about fitness, you know. Really? And like fitness, like I think we've made it pretty clear on this show that fitness has been so it's a substantial my, part of yeah, your life. <laughs> like literally, literally it's the center <laughs> of my existence, you know. Right. And I've I've never had I've never shared that with someone, you know. Right. And uh when I met Stacy, we met at a gym and she just started joining me and my friends in our workouts. Like she gave a shit and she was a hard charger and you know, she could keep up. Well, you know, she scaled and modified right, to right, her right. own capability, but she didn't complain and things like that. But you know, like as you go on in a relationship, that's, you know, and she's had the, she's, she's, she's trying to find her way back to, is she having the twins being pregnant? It'll oh fucking yeah. Change your shit for a while, you 100% know, it does. and it's, and you know, so, um, but Stacy gives a shit about her health and fitness. And so that's what I was like, I can finally share this with someone and, um, I can talk about it with someone who cares and understands. Right. And that was actually, um, it was like, like I say a lot, like fitness is my life mm -hmm. and I don't expect it to be somebody else's life, but I think it should be a part of everybody's life. Like it is hard for me to respect someone who doesn't care about their physical well-being, you know, like, and I, I feel that way in a lot of that. Like, I don't like, I, you know, people judge me because I don't like to wear suits, but what is respectable about a fat man in a suit? Why can't like, what, what's, you know, it's like me in shorts and t-shirt, but I take care of my right fucking physical health. And then there's this fat motherfucker in a respectable suit. What's more respectable? Oh, the fact me, Yeah, no, like, yeah, For sure. Yeah, socially, yeah. But to me, me, <laughs> you know, the with the thing that actually fucking matters, the thing with, that actually fucking matters is more respectable to like anybody can buy a suit, but it, it that's easy. It's so much that's easier easy. than it's hard eating, to actually give a shit about your health working out and, and, you know, like, you know, and and actually like, um, you know, taking care of your fitness is taking care of your brain. It makes you a happier person. Yep. Like, because, you know, people ask me these questions about fitness because they're unhappy. If they're unhappy with themselves, right. what kind of partner does that make them? It's not a fucking trick question. Right. A, 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 a difficult one. <laughs> it's not if, a trick. you know, <laughs> it's not a trick question. It's not a trick question. Makes you, you miserable. Know? Yeah. That's the, that's the, and that's, that's true for friend. Like, if, if you are unhappy because, it, it, because you're fat. If you're unhappy because you're fat, that makes you, it just, you don't maybe want it to be the case, but you are going to be a lesser husband or wife, a lesser friend, a lesser family member, because you at your core are unhappy. Right. And like, that's what, you know, like, you know, back in like from 2008 to 2012, especially 2008 to 2010, I was an awful person. I was an awful fucking person. I was just nasty to my friends. I was nasty to my family. Um, and it was because I hated myself. Right. It was because I, I was so unhappy and lost. Super depressed at that time. Yeah. Right? yeah. And it just made me a shitty person. It made me a shitty friend and things like that, you know? So um, the importance of it in a relationship and I, you know, um, it's, it's, it's noticeable when somebody, you know, we, we have a, people have a hard time expressing their emotions towards the right outlet. Right. You know, so it's like um, if somebody's, um, they're upset because they're fucking 50 pounds overweight, maybe they're 
losing their patience quicker with their spouse right or something like that you know um then that's not okay like that's not fair to the other person or something like you need to take care of your shit you like if i think is so like the cool thing about uh, a relationship where both people are working out and give a shit about their health like person one is doing their part person two is doing their part and then they come together. It's yeah. like, hey, I got, I'll take care of my shit. You take care of your shit. And then together we'll take care of our shit. Right. There's like me, you, and us. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm responsible for taking care of me. And you're responsible for taking care of you. And like, I'll help you when you need it. And you'll help me when I need a little boost right, there. Right. And then there's the us things, like the fucking family decisions and stuff like yep. that. So not only is it just fun. I love when Stacy comes to the gym with me. I love when Stacy, I mean, I fucking love when Stacy works out with me and stuff. And and she doesn't as quite often anymore. Our schedules are different and and my training is hard. Yeah. Man. Like it's hard. It's way longer you know? than what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. And it's and it's like it shouldn't be expected that somebody can do that or wants to do that, you know? So but um I love when she does hop in with me. She hops in with me here like two times a week or so now. Yeah. You know, yeah, and I just I enjoy it, and I push myself more when she's around. Oh like, yeah, I just I just well, there's do, a mo- there's you know? the motivating factor of having your just, significant other there with you yeah, doing like, it. Literally, the only reason I do better is because I'm happier. Right, I love sharing that with her. I really fucking do. Yep. And so, like, and and like I said, it's the first time in my life that I've been able to share this with someone, and it just yeah, it means a lot to me. Yeah. You know, um, and I don't know from another person's perspective who doesn't care about fitness quite as much as me, but I have to imagine that it makes, you know, like if, if if it's gotta be fucking stressful. If you, if, if, if you're trying so hard to take care of yourself and then you're just seeing this other person being a fucking quitter, right? How do you respect that? Like, what do you say? Or actually this gets into the, like, like, here's the next question. I like this one. Alicia Nicole asks, um shit maybe i shouldn't have said her name but anyway i don't don't, it is what it is um would love some tips about motivating my boyfriend to work out more he's going through um a depression and has ptsd so motivating someone else you know in this like depression ptsd or like everybody has some sort of mental reason why they've why they are currently quitting yep you know it's <laughs> like that's it for sure there, there's some sort of like mental reason and some so maybe it's like a fucking tragedy maybe it's just stress yeah stress and maybe it's just like uh quitting has become a habit yep or something like that so how do you how do you motivate someone like we're actually like we talked about this last week with my mom like you can't Right. And it's not your job to, it's not like you, you can, you should be like, so say, 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 we'll just use Stacy and I as an example, like none of this is true, but just for namesake, you know, so like hypothetically. I, yeah. So, so say, so like say, you know, Stacy's, she gives a shit about her health. She gives a shit about her fitness and she knows I care deeply about that stuff. Right. But she's just watching me for four months sit around the house. I'm getting fat. I'm sloppy. I never work out. I don't care what I eat. I'm drinking a six pack every other day or so. She just sees me not giving a shit and I'm getting nasty. Yeah. And it's, and I'm miserable because of it, you know? Yeah. Um, what, what, what is, what, 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 how is she going to think of me? Well, she's probably going to think something's fucking wrong. Sure, but but like but if but if but if but if everything else is good and I'm just being a quitter, it makes sense that yeah. she should in all fairness not respect me and fall out of love with me. If I have given up trying to be the best person or trying to be someone she deserves, if I think she deserves a person who's good in all aspects of life and I'm quitting at least the pursuit of that. Right. Then she should move the fuck on, you know, or I, I can't, I couldn't be upset if she did because I've given up, you know, like I I quit. So, (laughs) and, 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 and the same when the roles are reversed, you know, it's hard to respect. It's hard to love. 
I mean, we we do we can, but if right. somebody's like really just being like a giant fucking quitter, I think that's got to go like, on for hey, a long time. Like, hey, get off your fucking ass! Come on, you know, right? Yeah, but um, so but how how do you motivate someone? And and we, we tried to like we talked about this a little bit last week with my mom. It's like yeah, you, you, you can you can nudge and hint and things like that, but um, you gotta, can't help somebody until they're ready to help themselves. You got to find that on their and, own. And that's just like a personal accountability thing. Like, you know, fucking maybe make them listen, have them listen to this podcast and be like, hey, like, like I said, I, I think I said it re- in a relationship. It's like, you're in charge of taking care of you. Your person is in charge of taking care of them. And then you guys together handle the you things or the, the, the us things, the you us. know? And I, you know, I, I, I say husband and wife here, but it could be like man, man, woman, woman, things like that. Yeah, I don't no, just fuck whatever. about that. It's just, you know, traditionally speaking here, right. but you're, yeah, everybody's in charge of themselves. Yeah. Everybody's in charge of them fucking selves. And it, and it sucks because when you are attached to somebody who's quitting, you want to help them, but if they don't want to help themselves, you kind of can't and you have to you have to know that it's not your responsibility to you know get somebody to live right they it's you can try and you should try and you should love and support and th- right. i'm not just i'm not saying like kick a motherfucker to the curb <laughs> sorry but fucker people take like that shit super personally yeah you know and and it's and it's and, and i used to do this like helping people on the internet i was dude i would just i would just answer questions for eight hours a day, I felt personally responsible to give my time to people who wanted my help. And at yeah. some point I was just like, Oh, sh- this isn't my responsibility. Cause like I, somebody would ask me, Hey, like, Hey Derek, how do I do this? I'm like, Oh, here's how you do that. And then six months later they write back like, Hey, I, I, I fell off. I didn't do any of that. Any, any tips? And I'm like, Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, dude. Like, Go back to like, step one. No, I, I told you. Like, so it's not my response that like I yeah. do you do what you can and then you like I mean you do what you can. Just like so like my approach with the Whiter group. You know, like I, I always feel like I have a responsibility to be in there every day. Yeah. But like there's a shit ton of information there. I have put a lot of information in there. I've done what I can. Now it's up to somebody else on whether or not they want to, you know, take time to you know, kind of uh, listen to or read what I've put out there. And it's up to them on whether or not they want to apply it. I, that's out of my hands. You know, I hope the best for everybody. Um, um, so, yeah, like, but but how, I, to answer that question directly, how, how, how would you go about motivating? Um, I, I slow play people. Yeah, I just keep asking, like, "Hey, do you want to work out with me?" Yeah, you know, little like little bits of encouragement and things like that, you know, and, and not feeling mm-hmm. like the gavel came down when right, no. when you don't get the answer yeah. that you want. And and actually, so, um, and if you and if you're you know if 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 you're like, "Hey, why don't you come work out with me?" You know, like or like, "Let's do this together." And if like you know two times in a row they're like, "Okay, yeah, let's do it," and then on the third time you're like, "Hey, let's let's go to the gym," and they're like, "No," you're like. That's all right. That's cool. That's all right. I was know? feeling a yeah. little extra motivated. Yeah, that's we all don't right. Need you, you like that's fine. You know, like yeah. Just I don't. It's it's a difficult. It's a difficult thing. It's the long con. Yeah, it's the it's the yep. long con. Yeah, it's the long con. <laughs> uh, you got to slow play yep. people because you know unless somebody like totally quits on their life, they're gonna turn around at some point. Maybe hopefully, a lot of people don't like like my dad never turned around. Yeah. You know, like yeah. we talked about right. that. He just decided to fucking not give a shit for the rest of his life. But my mom turned around. Your mom had tragedy that kind of like helped spark that like that rock bottom feeling mm-hmm. of like, all right, I got to fucking do something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah. for the person who hasn't quite hit that point, it's mm-hmm. it's a lot of seed planting. You're you're yeah. planting the seed yeah. and letting the idea and become themselves. And you know, like their own. I never like when people when people reach out to me and they're like, Hey Derek, I got a, I got a friend who's really struggling. Would you mind reaching out to them and giving them some words of encouragement? And I just say, that's weird. I don't say anything, but I'm just like, it has always made me uncomfortable. Yeah. Why, that's imposing. Yeah. What if they fucking really need, like what if they need right now is to 
Or, or what if that's going to be the worst thing for them right yeah. now? If they're an internal person, if they want to deal with shit themselves, and now it's like, oh, here comes this like one-legged fucking turd with face tattoos, right? Who just posted a video of him dancing to RuPaul, right? Like, is it <laughs> who the fuck is this guy? And he's telling me to hang in there, champ. You yeah. know, like, you know, right? Step it up, guy. You know, <laughs> like, no, that's imposing. <laughs> Don't impose. Just, just, just try to fucking help and support. You know. It's a, it's a, it's a tough thing. And I, I, you know, I think we all do that. Yeah. It's a short road for some and some people it's a longer. Yeah. But you know, I think at the, if you have a long term quitter, like two, three years, somebody alcoholism combined with shitty eating combined with just sitting there playing fucking video games, you know, a lot of these motherfuckers are just closet video like gamers. Yeah. You know, (laughs) you play game. No, I don't have a, I but like I, I, I've been addicted to video games in the past. Have you? Uh huh. And that's why really? I don't play them. I don't play. I don't have a console. Yeah. I don't have a computer for video games or anything like that. And I have friends who would like, they're all like, "Oh, I'm depressed." It's like, no, you're addicted to video games, and you don't tell anybody. Right. Okay. Like, how many hours are you playing? Don't a fucking day? bullshit me. Like, gaming isn't a like it's an addiction. Addicts, guess, addicts play video games, and then they get fucking miserable and depressed, and then they get on the internet and they talk about the you know service connection ptsd things like that it's like no no you're depressed because you fucking spend nine hours a day in uh alternate reality right and then when you come back to reality you realize you haven't been taking personal responsibility for getting your shit in order yeah. <laughs> so all that shit you're running that, away that from shit blows me there. like i'm like i'm just i'm i'm i it makes me la- like how big a problem video games are for men, a shit ton of men. Video yeah. games are a huge problem for men and it's not talked about. It's just yeah. like, it's just the secret. It really is. It's funny. It's the secret. But anyways, that's uh, um, that's 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 a hard question to answer. How do I motivate a boyfriend, girlfriend, yeah. um, spouse? It's super hard. Yep. And super hard. And, and, and But if I, I, at what point do you fucking throw in the towel? Cause at some point your personal happiness matters after, you know, like, yeah, uh, like there's like unconditional love is a nice fantasy, but like two, three, four years, like with my, like the story, like last week we talked about my mom and dad. Yeah. My dad held my mom back. He held her back because he, he quit. She like, but she stayed and she stayed miserable. Yeah. That's Uh, tough. Yeah. You know, it's just that, uh, yeah. That's yeah. What do you do? I guess I guess everybody would know. Um, if if I was if I was my mom, I would have left my dad for sure. Like especially how especially much around longer? 2006 or so. He died when? 2016. Oh, yeah. So you're saying 10 years? Yeah, but they were in their 40s at that point. Yeah, it was just you know, and she wanted to go live her life, dude. She wanted to travel. She had, she, you know, she, she, she'd worked her way up the bank. Right. And she was making a good income. And they're like, oh shit, we could, you know, travel. And I was like, nah. My dad had a rule. He did not want to go outside the continent of the United States. He was, he said there was, a, there was plenty enough to see here. Okay. And I was like, hey, yeah, hey, I okay. love this place and I want to see everything, but I don't have think, a rule that I'm not going to travel outside the United States. You know what, you though? Know? I think that rule only applies if you're actually traveling around the United States seeing the stuff. Right, yeah. And were you? Yeah. No. Well, we did We did some vacations as kids, but it's like, you know, after that, it, we would go to, um, you know, say we went to someone's cabin and yeah. we all went out on the boat. Dad would just stay in the cabin and read his Dean Koontz books all day. Like <laughs> instead of hanging out with people, you know, it was, yeah. it, was, it was just weird stuff. His version of video games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right? it, was just, it was just weird stuff. Yeah. Very weird. So let's get to the, uh, I think we, we said as much as we can say on that one, yeah, right? I think so. Should we do another question here? Time for one more. All right. Oh, okay. Dusty Cowden. He says, I'm listening to the podcast. Great content about shit we want to hear. Thanks, Dusty. Glad you like the podcast. Yeah, so man. Far. Thanks. One question. You say you don't snack. Then how the hell do you get the amount of protein, carbs, and fats you need daily? So we kind of talked about this. Yeah. Um, uh, the protein. So protein for me, um, I, I, I get, I think, so 40, 80, 
maybe like 100 to 120 grams of protein from protein powder from formula one like that's a large chunk yep you know but i think i get upwards of 300 grams of protein a day but i but i i, I need that yeah you know um a super easy source of protein is protein powder and people are like it's not the same shut the fuck up shut the fuck up <laughs> you know God, I hate people. I hate people who fucking hate supplements. Now, there's a lot of shitty supplements and snake oil fucking bullshit totally. out there. Yep. But good supplements are good supplements. It's yeah. literally just the stuff that's in food in powder form. Right. And your body your body isn't that smart. I think when you get to the simple stuff like protein. Like yeah. It's, it's, yeah. There's, mm-hmm. the protein, out. creatine, caffeine, yep. glutamine, amino acids. Yep essential amino acids it's yep. fucking so like all the supplements i take are the it's just the basic stuff yep that's it protein glutamine vitamin shit yep the, the greens and reds powder right there's a lot of fucking weird things out there but the first form one is very they it's, it's the good. stuff it's from vegetables it's, it's expensive yeah. and it's quality you right. know and uh the, the pre-workout i have is fucking but anyway so sticking to the topic here protein a super easy source of protein is protein powder. And I'll just, so I, I drink the Formula One. First Form has two kinds of proteins. There's um, Formula One and Level One. Formula One is your faster digesting protein. Level One is supposed to be used as more of a snack. Okay. It's, it's a good option for people who go to work and shit like that. Like, right. I have the convenience. I'm, I work from home. Right. You know, so yep. I, um, uh, it's a good, easy 20 grams of protein. And the, the, the like protein is to me protein is king. Yep. Protein is god. Like if you like if, if your protein is too low, like one of my mom's problems with losing weight, she doesn't get enough protein. You want to build lean body mass. Right. Don't fucking women do not worry about gaining too much muscle. Do you know You're, how fucking hard it is? A lot of women are like, I don't want to get bulky. Bitch it is hard as fuck yeah. to get bulky. That's a good problem okay? to have. Yeah, if you're like, in that you're category. Not gonna, but you're not going to get bulky. It, no. It's so fucking hard. Yeah. It's fucking hard to get bulky. It's fucking hard for men to get bulky. And we're like, I mean like aggressive, like let's dudes, fucking bench press. You know? are trying to yeah, get bulky. Like there's a there's a very low chance that um, um, you're going to get too muscular. There's like girls are like, I don't want to take protein. I don't want to be, I don't want to be too awesome. I don't want to be too fucking amazing. The I have this problem where I get so fucking amazing so fucking fast. Like one shake yeah. and I'm there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like if I double that, up on yeah, this stuff. Like I don't want to get so amazing <laughs> so fast. <laughs> you know? Really but don't. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't like the attention. So, uh, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't like all the people looking at me. Yeah. But. <laughs> Uh, the protein get your fucking protein up okay um so at some point soon we're gonna talk about you know i'm gonna make my i'm gonna give my spiel about macros yep okay when to care when not to care but get your protein up and a super easy source of protein is protein powder so for me i get like 80 to 120 grams of protein powder so i'll tell you like at night so like at night just last night at 9 30 i ate a, about a pound of of ground beef with two eggs, put some shredded cheese in there. To Tillamook, you know the company Tillamook. Yeah, they're from Washington, Oregon. Or Oregon. Oregon, yeah. Oregon. So we went to the fucking creamery. It was awesome. Yeah, I got a t-shirt. Um, they got a cheese. It's 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 a uh, hot habanero jack. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, it's fucking amazing. I buy that. Like I just I go to the Sprouts and I get I throw like six of those blocks in my fucking cart. <laughs> they and look so, at dude, you funny. Like no the, the, no because you know, they understand me. Right. I was just like like you know fucking three packs of red meat fucking six blocks of cheese two carton of eggs some yogurts and granola they're like hey derek i'm like hey suzanne just the basics today (laughs) yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) so uh but uh so i I had it was a beef eggs uh cheese hot sauce and then i had uh the yogurt and granola yep and then i chase it down with a protein shake just to get extra protein you know, just, just so like the, I, I eat that whole bag of granola. Uh-huh. So that's, that's kind of a lot of carbs. It is. And I want my scales. I know I'm getting a shit ton of protein in the meat and eggs. And it, those skiers have like 12 grams of protein. Yeah. Per, and I have two. Um, so I'm getting a ton of protein. Um, but I think that meal is like 100 or so grams of carbs. And so I want to tip the scales in the protein favor. Right. So I chase it with a protein shake, you know. Just like top her off. I'm an overkill guy. Right. I really am. You know, 
Um, and so, so it's easy. So like protein, like that's what I really focus on. I make sure I get all my fucking protein because protein is king. No matter what you want to do, you got to get your fucking protein up there. Okay. Um, carbs. It's, you know, I, I know I just feel out my carbs and I, and I can tell with my energy levels in and out of training and I can tell whether I'm gaining or losing weight over a, a couple period day period of time. I, I just gauge how I feel, right. whether I need more or less carbs. It's easy for me to get my carbs in every day. So like the ignition, my post-workout stack has about 24 grams of carbs because I use the ignition. That's yep, sugar. sugar. My smoothie has the strawberries, banana. Um, that's, that's a good uh, uh, serving of carbs there. And then my whole bag of hash browns in my skillet is yep. like a hundred grams of carbs. So I think I get about 300 to 350 grams of carbs a day. It's not hard, but I'm a, I'm a big meal person and I'll, and I'll, and, and he, you know, it says you say you don't snack, then how the hell, um, do you get all your fucking macros in dude? Like, so the way I eat now is I figured myself out. Right. I was a snacker or I, I grew up. You know, like my, we talked about last week, I had to teach myself fitness. So I learned fitness from the magazines. Yep. And the magazines are like, you want to fucking get six pack abs and fuck all day and all yeah. night long? You know, then all you got to do is eat six meals a day. That's you it. know, like, you know, so I was, so I was like eating six <laughs> meals a day and it was just like nibbly, 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 never fucking satisfied, never full, always hungry, always yeah. empty, you know? And I, so like these big ass meals, I love it. Like I, I, I get full. Yeah. I don't snack because I'm full. Like, you know, like I do you feel just full or do you feel gorged? Like when you eat that much food, like, do you feel like just stuffed when you eat that much food? Uh, no, but I, I've like, um, I I'm used to it. Yeah. Okay. Like your stomach stretches, and right, shrinks, right. You know? Yeah. And so like, so like, um, those first few weeks of like the powerlifting diet, you got to stretch your stomach and then coming off of that diet right back to the fewer you, I feel hungry, but that's where discipline comes in yep. or discipline comes in in both cases. Right. If you're trying to gain weight, it hurts, but the discipline is you keep eating. And if you're used to eating a shit ton and you now want to lose weight, you have to mentally overcome that empty feeling. Your body isn't hungry. Your right. brain is hungry. Right. You know, right. Or you're <laughs> so, bored. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. And so I've said this before. I've given this up as advice before people who snack at night or this is super common with people in their diet. And they, and they ask me this question. They're like, Derek, I fucking do good during the day, you know, but here's the thing. They're at work. They're busy. Right. You know, and, and they, they're eating like minimal amounts of calories because they're following a fucking diet. You know, it's like, Ooh, at nine thirty seven, I need to have a serving of almonds. Um, and so they're like, I'm doing good during the day at night is when I start fucking up and I'm like, you know, people snack at night. People are hungry at night because they've been starving themselves all day and shit. You know, right. they're like, what should I do? I'm like, have a skillet, have a fucking skillet. If you're hungry, eat, but eat, eat good food. Right. You know, if you're, if you're, if you're like, I'm just going to assume, assume you're working out because you should be you right. <laughs> so like, uh, eat. If you're hungry, eat. If you're going to, if you're dying for chocolate, have yogurt and granola, Just chase it with a protein shake. Right. Like, it, like, cause it's not, it, it's, it's not a candy bar. Like if you're dying for something, eat a fucking meal, you know, like eat a meal. So I eat the two meals I eat. They're biggest shit because I'm, I'm full. I'm satisfied. I feel great. And I like by I'm I, I eat about three thirty, four o'clock, and then I'm hungry again about nine, nine thirty, and I eat a big ass meal and I go to bed with a fucking happy, full stomach. Yeah. Fuck going to bed on an empty stomach. Let me tell you, if you're trying to like lose weight and get shredded, like I'm losing weight and on my way to being fucking shredded again, I go to bed with a full stomach. I don't right. want to go, you know, like <laughs> You know? Why suffer yeah, more? Yeah, no, fuck going to bed on an empty stomach. That's just no way to live your life. You're going to be dead someday, all right? Do not go to bed with an empty stomach. <laughs> it's not necessary. It's not necessary. No. It's completely unnecessary, yeah. Um, but that said, I do like training in the morning on an empty stomach, and I think I, I just enjoy that. I enjoy the way it feels. I do better, but I think that um, 
is beneficial to me. Like training, I think I think there's something to be said about that fasted morning workout, you know. Right. And I don't think I'm held back at all because I don't have food in my stomach or something. I've never like liked it. I've never liked working out after no, eating. Who the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So like that's that so that's kind of how I live my life. Like the day is for living and the evening is for tomorrow. I mean, typically, like you know, like my uh, nobody goes out every day. You know, I don't want to make it seem like I just sit here and am a slave to my life or something like that. Like I know how to enjoy myself mm-hmm. on the weekends or or if something comes up during the week. But if it's just a normal day, just living my normal life, my normal training routine, like the day is for training and the evening is for refueling for me. Like that's how I I approach it. You know, it's it's so it's not it's not hard for me. Because I don't snack, it's not hard for me to not get, or, or it's not hard for me to get my macros. Right, it's easy, and it's and it's fucking rewarding, and it and it's actually like what I do keeps me from snacking. I don't not snack because I don't want to. I, I want to snack, like dude. If, if fucking Chex Mix and ice cream could give me fucking pecs, that sign, sign me, me up. up. Sign me up. Like what? Like God. Why? <laughs> what? It, why did you give us famine, but not the ability to like get shredded off of ice cream? This doesn't make sense. You know, discipline. <laughs> he wants us to be disciplined, or whatever the fuck you believe. I don't even. You know, I just, I think about that sometimes, but mm-hmm. it's 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 easy, and I I think so. Like I had to human proof my life, my diet, my my the way the way I eat, the timings, and things like that. It's just human proofing because I was fucking up for 10 years. I was right. trying so hard, but I was fucking up. I'm like, it's why not am working. I fucking up? I'm like, oh, I'm always hungry. I'm never satisfied. What happens if I feed myself and am satisfied? Oh. Oh, hey. Oh, then I'm happy and I don't need a snack. And right. now I know that. And 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 like I say, um, uh, uh, you know, like what I, what I eat today determines my tomorrow. So that makes it easier too. When you think about it that way, like what do you eat today sets you up tomorrow like how you feel when you wake up in the morning yep or you're like shit dude some people need to like take it who the fuck eats fast food for lunch i mean i do but like how do you feel in the afternoon i feel like shit dude it's fucking so stupid when you're like it's it's or it's it's just it's dumb to me yeah it's dumb to me and i go on the air force base and there's like a fucking you know Dick Jr.'s, whatever the fuck. I don't know what these fast food places are called. But at lunchtime, and there's just a fucking line wrapped around the fucking building. These people are in the military eating fast food for lunch. And I'm like, but you're setting yourself up. It's 1130 in the morning, and you're going to eat this, and you know you're going to feel fucking slow and lethargic for the second half of your workday. Mm-hmm. No wonder you're unhappy at work. It just, it just makes you feel bad. So like you like understand that what you're eating determines your mood determines how you feel so oh, totally yeah so like, i get dude i get those cravings where and, and yeah. i'll i give into them so like, i'll go yeah, get dude. mcdonald's or something and i'm and i'll fucking eat it and i'll be like god i'm gonna regret this in like yeah 20 minutes you know? this- and so when i do do that like you know a handful of times a year or so let's say it's 10 times a year yep i just i i, I do like eat shit food i'm not perfect all the time right i don't want to be right. i want to live my life too and so but so when I say like, or so when I do do that, I'm committing to feeling like shit, you know, having a stomach ache today and feeling like shit tomorrow, but I'm okay with that because sometimes that's what I need to, mm-hmm. cause I want to enjoy that. I yeah. fucking, I like cheese sticks and jalapeno poppers. So good. I can't just go my whole life without having them. And so I do it on a day. I'll do it on like a, like a Friday night. Sometimes my Friday night get out and party is like two pizzas jalapeno poppers, buffalo chicken tenders, and cheese sticks. And then Saturday, I'll just fucking drink water and shit my brains out, you know? (laughs) And then Sunday... I'm ready to go. And then Sunday, I'll drink water and eat good food. Monday morning, I feel okay again, you know? Like, that's... So, (laughs) it's it's, it's all pretty easy like that. Yeah. 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 Well, I think... uh, I think I uh I think I gotta pee my pants. I did make it a fucking episode. Hey. Without going pee. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you know, the, the, Good, la- the I last had no few, yeah. I had no stories in my pocket <laughs> to like roll with. <laughs> <laughs> hmm mm-hmm. So, you know, that's that's uh that's that those are my tips for today. Those are those are I think uh I think we covered a lot. I think if you apply some of that, you can make some good positive changes in your life. 
Um, I we we need this quarantine to fucking end so we can get some oh, some good fun guests in here. Owen and I are gonna uh, uh, t- uh, sign off here and uh, get to work on decorating this podcast room. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. We love you guys. We'll catch you next week.